Welcome to our World Cup preview of Group B, which consists of Spain, Netherlands, Chile, and Australia. Many dubbing it one of the groups of death, so yeah. Uh, well, <laughs> yeah, you could say it is a group of death. <laughs> yeah. But some might say it's just one team, there's like one team there which, which has no chance. <laughs> and you probably know which one it is, but we'll talk about it. We'll talk about that. Alright, so let's start off with the current world champions, the defending champions, Spain. La, Furi La Furia Roja. <laughs> the Red Fury. Um, 14th World Cup, historically underachievers. However, in the last couple of years, they've won every single major tournament they participate yeah. in. Two Euros, yeah. one World Cup. Can they become the first team to defend the World Cup since Brazil in 1962? That's going to be a big question. Yeah, uh, it's just so hard to defend a World Cup. Um, so, yeah, it's this Spanish team, if they're going to do that, they have their work cut out. I mean, it was tough enough in 2010, as we saw um, a lot of series of one nil victories. Everyone just trying to just stop the Spanish attack. And, yeah. yeah. But uh, they got there. Yeah, and they made it quite easily this time to in qualification. They yeah, topped the group. France was the only main uh, rival in that group. Yep. And they beat them away in Paris, which was a crucial victory in yep. the end. Because yeah, so they had to so they avoid the playoff. To avoid the playoff, that's right. So, um, in terms of the team itself, um, let's look at this team. It's as once again, it's really hard to pinpoint any weaknesses in the Spanish yeah. team. Yeah. They're, they're good all over the park. Mm -hmm. Now, when you've got when you've got like David De Gea as a third choice goalkeeper, yeah. you know you've got a pretty good team. <laughs> oh there. well, yeah, just that's just the goalkeepers, the defenders, the midfielders, even the strikers. Everyone, there was a David Villa era, and you know, if if this was another team, they would probably mm -hmm. still be their striker. But yeah. no, they re rejuvenated. They've got Costa in there. They've got Lorente. Yeah. It's just yeah, everywhere. It's a production line. They just yeah. they just keep producing these players yeah. over and yeah. over. as world class players. Yeah. So um, the other thing as well, which is a big factor for Spain and which has helped them in the last um, last three major tournaments, is the fact that the majority of the team play for either Barcelona or Real Madrid. Yeah, they know each other very well. They know each other very well, mm -hmm. and that's really important when it comes to big tournaments because yeah. you don't have much time to prepare yep. to to actually uh, become a cohesive unit. Yeah. And this really helps them a lot. No, definitely. Um, so look, I don't, we don't need to tell you the strengths of um, Spain. So let's talk about where they may slip up. And there have been some disturbing results recently. You, you must say, uh, mm -hmm. Confederations Cup last year had. To, so they're doing their tiki taka style. Italy took them to penalties. And they eventually got to the final, but um, they did that. And then we saw what happened in the final. Absolutely, just smashed Neymar yeah. and everyone. And Neymar and his friends just uh, smashed Spain, and uh, okay. there's there were a couple of friendly results against a couple of the African teams that weren't so favourable. South Africa, well, they're friendlies, but still, you, you, they shouldn't. So they are being found out a little bit. Even in the last World Cup, there was a lot of these one nils that it just took one goal to yeah. get them through, but they, they almost got shut out. So yeah, that, that's they'll get through the group. But it's just later in the tournament, people are, a lot of teams are finding them out, and not as Brazil found them out spectacularly. Yeah, yeah. And one other thing is, um, uh, their main playmaker, which has been Xavi in the last three major tournaments, he's not the same player he's been, um, you know, since then. Yeah. His, 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 his powers have diminished, and yep. he's, he's barely playing at the level he should, he'll normally play, so... It's really in terms of um, in terms of the main player who yep. really has click is Iniesta. He has taken over the role of Xavi sure. yeah. was doing, and he's the main guy now. He's only you know the the, the focal point of Spain. And, so, and certainly guys like Fabregas need to step it up as well. Yeah, yeah. Play so, role. so that's pretty much Spain in a nutshell. Yeah, pretty good chance of winning. Uh, moving on to the next team, which is uh, the Netherlands. Now for Netherlands, tenth World Cup, and arguably the best team never to win it. Yeah. Can they win it this time? Yeah, it's a lot of question marks still. Um, we do. We talk about other teams where oh, they're still relying on the same golden generation, but it's hard to argue with the Dutch because guys like Robben, Van Persie, uh, uh, you know Schneider, they're still playing very good. So mm -hmm. it's hard to criticize. But this is their last chance for sure. This golden generation in the midfield. Yeah. But you have a few things to say about the defense as well. You say yeah. So the, if you look at the the defense of the Netherlands. Right now, they're all home based, as in they're all playing in Dutch league. Mm. They're very young as well. They're talking yeah. about really early 20s yeah. um, 
defence in the early 20s and in terms of being ready for the world stage, mm. I don't know. Yeah. I think they're going to have trouble um, keeping the ball out of the back of the net. Especially against Spain in this group. Spain, especially even Chile, I reckon, yeah. have a good chance of scoring against them. Yeah. And I think that's what's going to cost, what could cost Netherlands in, in the group. But we'll talk about predictions afterwards, but that could be a factor in yeah. that. I mean, there's, there's, only, chances. there's only really one really experienced defender in the back line, that's uh, Van der Veel, yeah. and he's playing for PSG. So, um, not like the um, olden days where they had a lot of solid, yep. you know, solid back line with uh, from all the big leagues. In, um, yeah, you say? So, so yeah, in terms of one key player who has to be top of the game for nothing to have any chance, it's it's Iron Robin. Yeah. Um, he's had the out of the out of like the Van Persie, out of uh, Schneider and Robin. Robin's the guy who's still in best form. Yep. And he's the guy who really has to be on, be on top of his game to for not have any chance. Yeah, sure. And he used to pass the ball a bit more. <laughs> pass the <laughs> ball. Um, and um, uh, uh, I suppose a bit a more refreshing thing is uh, Louis van Gaal is there now. Mm. We saw a lot of um, dirty tactics in the 2010 World Cup. I mean, it must be said. Um, uh, you see uh, kicking skills. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, that was um, under van Marvik. Um, yeah. Lou Van Hal, uh, he's a believer of the total football style, so you yeah. might see that come back. Um, but I don't know when they're playing in Spain, they might want to yeah. revert back. I don't know. It'll be interesting, we'll see what happens in, yeah. in the game. Okay. Moving on to the next team, Chile. Now, Chile, 9th World Cup, best result was 3rd place when they hosted them back in 62. Yeah. Um, however, in the, in the last two World Cups they've appeared in, they've been eliminated in the round of 16. Yeah. So, I mean, they, they're not obviously a, 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 a contender for the World Cup per se, but they are getting uh, getting better over time. Yep. And this team, I think, has a good chance of at least getting in this group yeah. and maybe progressing further. Well, you know, you've got Alexis Sanchez there at the front. Um, uh, quality player, quality um, uh, for Barcelona, <coughs> but you've got a, a, a unique style in Chile. You see a lot of the formations and teams are the, the same. Yes. Uh, so we had Bielsa at the last World Cup and um, the, the new coach, um, which is named San Paoli, mm. he's picked up the same sort of philosophies. They yeah. play a very attacking game, very pressing game, yep. very exciting to watch, um, not easy to play against. For the neutrals, Chile is a wonderful team to watch. Yeah. And um, the, the Bielsa legacy continues under yeah. San Paoli yeah, exactly. uh, in terms of the style of play. And um, yeah, and, and in terms of the players they got as well, they've got decent players as well. Recent, look, look at uh, some of the recent results in friendlies, I don't know any friendlies but um, they can give you indications of how good this team actually is. Yeah. Now, they in the last 12 months they've drawn 2-0 with Spain in friendly, yep. they, they beat England in London 2-1, yep. uh, they narrowly lost to Brazil 2-1 and last two months ago they narrowly lost to Germany 1-0 in Germany. Oh. However. Chile completely dominated that game. Right, right, right. And German, the German fans actually booed off their own team. Oh, wow. There you go. So, it goes to show. I mean, they've got a very good team. Definitely. Definitely. Um, Anything else to say about Chile? No, no, but Chile, no, watch, watch out. It's uh, certainly not not someone to write, not a team that you'd want to write off. So yeah. That's for sure. Yeah. Finally, um, a team close to our hearts. As you can and see, we by are Jesus. Australia. Australia. And by our accents. The um, Socceroos. Socceroos, Australia. Uh, fourth World Cup, best result, round 16 in 2006. Germany. Were, yeah. Germany 2006, yep. Mm. And in terms of qualification, we barely, barely qualified. They barely qualified. Uh, they required a victory in the final game just to scrape through by, I think, by a point. Yep. And the only thing they scored was at 12 times in 8 games. Like a exactly. very, very low scoring team. Yeah. Barely and, scraped through. And you, you've got this, it's the same problem with Australia as you do with a lot of these other uh, teams where you've got a golden generation that's <coughs> passed and they haven't really replaced them. It, it, it must be said. Correct. And uh, it's really sad to see someone like uh, Robbie Cruz, who I believe is probably the only player that could legitimately say has replaced the Bowen generation who's yeah. out with an acoustic ACL injury yeah. um, who will not be at the World Cup um, yeah. so yeah. but you're still relying on the, your team Cahills of the world and um, Bresciano well and look at these guys ages they're talking about 30 plus yeah. King Cahills 33 Bresciano's 34 mm, yeah. mm. and those are the best players yeah, so exactly. there's a massive massive uh, 
problem there for Australia and for sure. And of course, when you're that age, you're not as fast as we for, you know, it's agile. Yeah. Um, and the young guys have stepped up, but yeah. to be honest, the young guys are not are not in the same level of quality as the 2006 or 2010 yeah. team. Yeah. Not no nor nor in the striking department, nor in the defence, no. nor in the goalkeeping department. I, I must say, um, like I said, there was one player I believed that yeah. was as good as that. He's not. He's not even going to be there. Yeah. And the rest, yeah, you know, Yedinak is solid. Um, I'll give him a bit of credit, but it's about it. I think when you're looking at teams from the last World Cup and the World Cup before, and, and just looking at this group that we've been putting on, oh God, <laughs> <You're> <laughs> not really scared. Like uh, we, we really, so, really believe that. Well, we'll talk about predictions now, actually. Um, as to you may as well, yeah, getting onto the predictions now. Well, that's a good segue. Um, so, who do you think is going to uh, make it through? Progress from this group: uh, Spain and Chile for me. One, two. Yeah. What are you? Uh, I, I'm having a difficult time deciding. I, I, I want to say I want to say Spain and Chile because of the um, Dutch defence. It's really going to come down to goal difference. It's mm -hmm. going to be it might be Spain nine points, four points for um, Netherlands, four points for um, Chile. For goal then, yeah. So if they draw Netherlands and Chile, so it, it depends how much um, Chile or Netherlands can smash Australia and the the, the uh, goal okay. between them. <laughs> Get out the fence. Who do you choose? Who do you think is going to go through? Uh, I'm gonna say Chile as well. Just uh, Chile, copy just copy just, cat, just, copy cat, copy cat. Copy copy cat. Copy it's gonna be. <laughs> so for us, uh, yes, yeah, so as, as as you just heard, we think that Spain and Chile will go through from Group B, and uh, yeah, the Dutch are gonna go home early. As Australia as well. As uh, yeah. Well, <laughs> not that we have faith, but you know, I think realistically we got there's no chance. If we get one point, that'd be great. Oh, that'd be great. Um, yeah, and, 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 and if we get one point, well, either one of the Dutch or the Chileans will be happy. So. And then they will be great through calling for the team. <laughs> okay. Cheers. Right. Thank you. Thank you.